Hi, this is Ben and I'm a support engineer here at GitLab. In this video, I wanted to take a look at downloading and installing a GitLab instance for an offline environment. Now, what do I mean by offline environment? Let's take a look. Now, an offline environment is uh, one where one or more servers operate with no or very restricted access to the internet, or they're on a sort of like a public or secure private network that is sort of maintained and monitored. Now, files, packages, and patches are usually reviewed uh, by sort of a security team member, and then they're transferred to the environment via the restricted local network or through physical media. So that's like USB, uh, a writable DVD, or even just like a hard drive. Um, another term that they can also be known as is air-gapped, and a good example of this is from the 1996 movie Mission Impossible. Now, uh, okay, so what would that look like for an example? If we take a look here, we can see on the left that we have a small network that has a router as well as a server, and this is connected up to the cloud, or in this instance, the internet. On the right-hand side, we have a server with two client machines that's completely isolated on this network, and we can see that there's a clear separator between the two sides. Now, if we wanted to transfer something from the public internet facing instance to the uh, offline or air gapped instance over here, we'd have to use some sort of physical media. And that's what we can do. So let's say that we had a USB with our GitLab package files, as well as all the dependencies. And we wanted to transfer them across to the offline environment. We can do that, and then we can install GitLab uh, manually. Okay, so the question is, where do we start? What we're gonna do first is download the GitLab Omnibus package and all of its required dependencies, transfer the package files to the offline environment, either via private network or physical media, but in this example, I'll be doing a physical media, install the dependencies, and then finally install GitLab itself. So let's take a look. First of all, what we're gonna do on a host that has access to the internet is download the relevant uh, repository files so that we can actually prepare the, uh, the uh, package for download. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna run the curl command that actually prepares the repository scripts for us. So we'll just run that run now. Give that a moment to let itself update because it also runs an upget update as a part of this. And then once that's done, we can proceed with the next step. So what we'll do is we'll go to sudo apt get install and we're going to run a flag which is going to be download only and then we're going to say gitlab-ee uh, for the package name and we'll let that one run give that a moment to download everything that we want to use and then after this we'll have it uh, available in a directory on the server okay with the download complete if we navigate to var cache apt archives on this ubuntu install we can actually see that there are a number of deb files available we can see here that we have the GitLab-E instance, as well as the entire dependency path that was required for GitLab to be installed on this uh, server, or at least on Ubuntu 20.04. So what we can do from here is we can then copy this to our removable media, and we can then transfer that onto the offline environment itself. So what we'll do is let's just copy this to the uh, removable media. And with that done, what we'll do is we'll prepare this removable media onto the offline environment host. Okay, we're now on the offline environment host. And what we can see if we navigate to the same path that I've mounted as on the other host, which is mount USB, we should have a number of deb files, which you can see listed here, as well as in the file explorer manager here. Now from what we can do here is we wanna make sure that we install the dependencies first before we install the GitLab package. So what we can do is from here, uh, essentially run the dpkg command uh, and essentially install all the dependencies first before we install GitLab. So what we can do is run sudo dpkg o and essentially work through the list of the different dependencies that we're gonna to need to install. Now, each of these are quite straightforward. They're quite small. Um, so we can essentially just go through and install them one by one. And then once this is done, we can then look at installing the GitLab package. Okay, with all that done, what we can do now is we can actually move to install GitLab itself. Now, similar to what we would do with a regular Omnibus package installation is we can actually specify the external URL during the time of install, and that's what we're gonna be doing here as well. So what we'll do is we'll do sudo. We're gonna say external URL equals, and then for this example, I'm going to say that this is my-host.internal. Then we're going to run dp, dpkg again, dash i, and then we're going to refer to the GitLab package file as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to let that one run, and it's going to start uh, unpacking GitLab-ee for us. And once this is done, we should have a GitLab instance ready to go.
Okay, and now a short time later, we can see that the GitLab instance has been installed successfully. So I've recovered the initial root password from the instance and we'll sign in and now we're ready to go. And just like that, you've got your offline environment.